Hey there everyone and welcome back to the Geeks for Geeks channel and today we are going to move forward in our series of competitive programming. Today we are also going to solve a dynamic programming problem and this question has been asked in Amazon interview and the name of this problem is reach the score problem. In this we have to find the number of possible ways to reach a given score. So without having a further ado let's get started. Okay, so this is the question plot. Your friend Akshit is an SD at Amazon and you both loves to play shooting games like PUBG and CSGO. But you find out that some of your friends have poor shooting skills. So both of you designed a game in which there are certain points to shoot the opponents at particular spots. Such as for headshot you will get 10 points and for shot on chest you will get 5 points and a shot anywhere else will give you only 3 points. The game is designed on a mission based tactic in which you have to reach an exact given score with these 3 types of shots. Now out of curiosity Akshit assigned, assigned you a task to find out total number of distinct combinations to reach the given score by any player. And note that you have to find combination not permutation that is the order of scoring the points does not matter. This question was asked in Amazon as I told you before. So I will try to summarize this question in a little smaller way. So here is the question in just two lines. So we consider a game where a player can score three or four or uh, three or five or ten points in a move. Given a total score n, we have to find the distinct combination to reach the given score. And also we have to find combination not permutation. If you have ever solved basic coin chaining problem with dynamic programming or in dynamic programming then you must have realized this, that this question is pretty much similar to the basic coin chaining problem and it uses dynamic programming as well. So how? Let's see. First we will talk about the input. So the first line of the input contains an integer t denoting the number of test cases. And then the first line of each test case is n. For each test case in a new line, print number of ways combination to reach the given score. And the constraints are as follows. Now let's talk about some sample inputs. So for example, we are given three test cases this that are 8, 20, and 30. Okay, so for 8, how many ways are there to reach the score 8? There's only one way. We can score 5 one time and then three one time. The order can be changing but that will be counted as, as one combination. Okay, so let's try to explain this with the help of a tree. So I will take the example of the third input that is 13. So we will draw a tree. So how many possible ways are there to reach 13 in any uh, point of this game? So we can reach 13 by adding five to any number or three to any number or 10 to any number. So let's draw a tree. First, we are going to explore the first node of this tree that is from a number where we can add 3 to get to 13 that will be 10. Okay, so for 10 there are again 3 choices by which we can go to uh, score 10 that is by adding 3 to 7 or 5 to 5 or 10 to the 0. So this is one case in which we can go from 0 to 13. So that can be one case. Now let's explore the 7 further more. All right. So 7 can be reached in two ways, either by adding 3 or 5 to a number. Now let's explore this two also. For 4, we can uh, get to 4 only if we uh, add 3 to 1. Now we are starting with 0, we are not starting with 1. So there is no way we can reach from uh, to 13 from the 1. So this will not be an answer at all. Same for this two. We are starting with the 0 score. So there is no uh, chance that we can score 2 since the minimum scoring point is 3. Now let's explore this 5 node. Okay, So there are two ways on in which we can score 5 either by adding 3 to 2 or by adding 5 to the 0. So this can be an another answer for our problem by adding 5 to the 0 one time and then 5 to the 5 another time and then adding 3. Okay, Now let's explore this node that is 8. So there are two ways in which we can go to the score 8 either by adding 3 to 5 or 5 to the 3. Now as you can see we have already explored this node that is 5 over here. Okay, 
so we can just use this tree from here to here okay so as we all know that there is no no way where we can reach 13 with the help of this 2 there's no way that we can reach to the 2 from the 0 actually okay and we can reach to the 13 with the help of zeros this this is another solution from for our problem that is adding 5 one time then adding 3 one time and then adding 5 but if you see that we have already uh, got this solution this combination before over here okay so now let's talk about our now let's explore this 3 node so there is only one way possible by adding 3 to the 0 this is again another combination by which we can get 30 as a score but again this combination has been already been explored over here okay so now let's explore this last node we have already explored this three node over here so as we can see i'll just erase this out so up till now we have already seen that we are recursively calling this five node and this three node twice in this tree okay this is was this was the example of taking 13 but if we take an another example like let's say a bigger a number let's say 20 there are possibilities that this nodes many nodes are repeating in the tree okay so you must have got an idea that this problem is based on dynamic programming okay now let's talk about our solution there how how many solution are there first this is this solution that is taking 5 5 and 3 and then another solution is this taking 10 and 3 there are only two possible different solution distinct solution by which we can reach score 13 so that's why the answer here is 2 now let's move forward and understand this with the help of table okay firstly let's take an example that what if we can only score three points in the game so first we are going to take an array of dp n plus one size okay we are only going to use 1d array no 2d array is required for this problem okay so you must have noticed that till now that for no, to finding out the number of ways to reach any number i it depends on the number of ways to reach i minus and that is n can be any number of points which we can score in that uh, in this case the number of ways in reaching dp di dpi depends on number of ways by which we can reach dpi minus 3 okay now let's talk about the base condition of our problem okay so in how many ways we can score 0 there is only one way that we don't shoot the player anywhere okay by this way we can only score 0 so so for the first cell the value will be what 1 there is one way by which we can score 0 okay now let's talk about how many ways by which we can score 1 if we can score only 1 points 3 points at a time okay so there are only 0 ways there are no ways till now okay same as for 2 but for 3 let's check D, dp3 what is the value of dp3 uh, dp i minus 3 that is dp0 that is 1 so in how many ways we can reach the score 3 there is only one way first uh, by shooting it anywhere else than the chest and the head shot okay now let's we are just going to apply this formula that, that dpi depends on dpi minus 3 if there is a way in dpi minus 3 there will be a way for dpi so we can simply say that dpi is equals to dpi plus dpi minus 3 okay so i'm just going to fill this table really fast for you guys as we can see as we can only score only three points so all the multiples of three will be one and uh, all others are zero okay so i will just fill it out so this is how the table will look after filling this table hall up, up to number 15 cut now let's talk about the base condition of this problem so the base condition of this problem will be dpi where dp0 is equals to 1 as we can see there is only one possible way by which we can reach a score 0 that is by not shooting the opponent at all now let's add some more points to this till now we are only uh, what assuming what that we can only score three points at a time now let's assume that we can score both three and five so we have already filled the table for the three point by on which we can score only three so now we just have to check for what dpi minus five so up till five the table will be what remains same okay dpi so for three and five we are going to check for what both dpi minus 3 and dpi minus 5 we have checked for dpi minus 3 in this table so we are just going to use this table as a reference to fill up the second table okay so till 
dp5 the value will be the same okay so i will just fill it up okay so for dp5 the value of dp5 will be what dp i minus 5 that is dp0 dp0 is 1 so dp5 will be 1 dp6 will be 1 as we can see above from the reference from the above dp7 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 depends on dp2 that is 0 so dp7 will be 0 now dp8 depends on dp3 that is 1a here okay in the reference table in our reference table or we can say in our current table dp3 is what 1 so we are going to add 1 to 8 cell okay now let's talk about dp9 dp9 is already 1 in our cell okay dp i minus 5 that is dp9 minus 5 will be what dp4 dp4 is 0 so we will just give 1 again to this now for dp10 dp5 will be equals to 1 so that for that 5 dp10 is also equals to 1 for dp11 dp6 is 1 in our table okay so dp11 will be what 0 plus 1 1 again dp12 dp12 is already 1 but dp7 is 0 so the answer will be 1 again for dp13 dp8 is what 1 so 0 plus 1 that is 1 again for dp14 dp9 is what 1 so 1 plus 0 one again now for dp15 the value already here is 15 and at the value at the dp10 is and the one new table is dp10 or uh, dp10 is 1 so 1 plus 1 the value here will be 2 so there are two ways by which we can reach number score 15 as you can count we are either we can uh, score 3 times 5 or we can score 5 times 3 okay so there are two ways to reach 15 now let's take all of the input like we can use 3 we can we can score 3 points we can score 5 points and we can also score 10 points so i'm ju i have just copied the above table here below so for dp10 we have, we have to only look for we have to only start looking for this at the at the point what dp i minus 10 from this dp i minus 10 okay so for dp i minus 10 that is dp0 depends on dp i minus 10 depends on dp0 so the value will be 1 plus 1 one one is already here then one plus one is equal to what two this is two okay sir. yeah for dp11 okay one and dp1 is what zero so zero plus one that will that will remain one as well for dp12 dp12 depends on one dp i 12 minus 10 that is dp10 that is zero zero plus one one that will remain the same for dp13 the value of dp13 is what one and the value of dp 13 minus 10 that is dp3 is what 1 so 1 plus 1 this will be 2 here as well okay for dp14 the value is here, over here is 0 so 1 plus 0 1 for dp15 how many ways are there 2 dp15 is 2 and dp15 minus 10 is what 1 so the value here the number of ways to reach dp15 15 score is 3 okay this is 3 guys i will just write it again okay so this is how we are going to fill up the table so now let's talk about the steps that we are going to use to solve this dp program in the coding part okay so remember that the number of ways possible to reach i any value i will be the sum of the ways to reach i minus 3 i minus 5 and i minus 10 as we have seen before okay we are checking first for i minus 3 values and then we are checking for i minus 5 values and then we are checking for i minus 10 values this is step by step that how the table will fill okay now first step would be what creating the dp matrix that is dp n plus 1 so now let's go to our coding part okay so we are here at the geeks for geeks id and i've just written already written the input methods and all of these things that we are going to need and we are just going to fill up this method count in case you are thinking what this ll is that we i have already defined ll as long long in c plus plus so let's get started so the first step is to create a matrix dp of size n plus one so here i go now i'm going to make all of the initial values in the matrix to zero with the help of memset method okay now we will move forward to the second step it is finding the base condition we have already find what is the base condition that is dp0 is equals to 1 so we're just going to use this base condition dp0 is equals to 1 okay 
now we have to find the logic to fill this table so the logic will be dpi is equals to dpi plus dpi minus 3 plus dpi minus 5 plus dpi minus 10 so i'm just going to do this with the help of three for loops okay so the first for loop will be for dpi minus 3 so here we go okay now i'm just going to copy this loop for i minus 5 and i minus 10 as well okay so we're just going to change the values of 3 to 5 and 10 and then the last step is to return dpi that is dpn in our case okay so we'll just return dpn with this our code is complete so let's try to run it as you can see the sample input is here 382013 and this output should be 142 that is our output so that is correct okay so back to the ppt so this was the c++ code that we have used okay so you can just take a screenshot over here if you don't didn't get it over there and this is the python 3 code with the same steps first we are creating a matrix dp then we are uh, using the base condition dp0 is equal to 1 then we are using three for loops for uh, filling for the logic to fill up the table and then we are repeating dpn so you can again take a screenshot over here okay now this this is the java code first three four lines is for the input then the steps are, steps are same first we are creating a array dp of size n plus one then we are assigning zero to all of the values then we are just fulfilling the base condition then the logic to fill the table and then returning the dpn value okay you can take a screenshot of this i'll just clear this out okay you can just take a screenshot of it and this is all for this video guys i hope you like this video if you like this video give us a like down below also comment how was this video how was the explanation part and if you want more such video of dynamic programming and competitive programming just subscribe to the geeks for geeks channel and that's it see ya